Hi, this is Curtis Alexander. Uh, I'm a pharmacist. In today's video, what I want to cover is the side effects that you can see with methotrexate. Now, methotrexate is normally used for a couple of big reasons, one of which is rheumatoid arthritis, and the other one is you can see it in cancer patients. I'm going to kind of focus on the dosing that you see with rheumatoid arthritis and the side effects uh, because that's what it's most commonly used for. Uh, just know that as the doses go up, if it's used for cancer, the side effects that we discussed can become more prominent. So um, at any rate, before you start methotrexate, what you want your doctor doing and what he or she will likely do is draw quite a few labs because we want to get baselines for your liver function, your kidney function, and they're going to continue to monitor those things throughout, or they should. Um, but those we do want to get some baselines before you start methotrexate to try to lower the risk of any of those side effects occurring. There are a few groups of folks that we don't want to use methotrexate in, one of which is if there's any pregnancy or a chance of pregnancy. So even if a woman is older, if there's no uh, contraception or she could become pregnant, that's somebody that would not be an ideal candidate for methotrexate use. The other thing, again, any liver problems, any kidney problems, we want to be careful. And the other one is any alcohol use. Um, you know, people have asked, and I know there's been people who've used methotrexate that can drink on it and be fine. Ideally, we don't want that happening. It's, it's going to um, probably cause more problems down the road and increase the risk of side effects. So. As far as the side effects with methotrexate go, I would say they fall into two camps. Um, there's some of the side effects that can happen that aren't as severe but are a little more common. And that one would probably be nausea. Um, people can get sick to their stomach. And the other thing that can happen is stomatitis where you get some of these sores in the mouth. Now, what your doctor should be doing and is likely going to do is prescribe folic acid to be taken with the methotrexate, and that's going to decrease the risk of, of those mouth sores happening. Um, the more serious side effects that can happen are blood abnormalities. You know, you can see drops in platelets and white blood cell count. Um, you can see problems with liver function again. This goes back to why we want to be drawing those labs and monitoring them throughout your therapy. The biggest concern when somebody's on methotrexate is it can lower, um, it can cause some immune system problems. So we do want to keep an eye out for that. So if you have somebody who came to me and is like, well, I have a bunch of infections, um, considering methotrexate wouldn't be a good choice. Now I want to stress that the side effects I mentioned outside of the stomach side effects, at the dose that you're going to see methotrexate used for rheumatoid arthritis, the chance of those happening are pretty low, um, but they can happen again, so we're going to monitor blood levels. Now the question can come up, well, if methotrexate has these side effects, you know, I want to try something else. And you can do that, but methotrexate for arthritis at any rate as a first line treatment is kind of the gold standard. It's what we start with because it's cheap. Uh, it acts pretty quickly. It still has good results. Um, so there's a lot of benefits to its use. Now the question comes up, if you do have any of these side effects, what can you do? Well, obviously you would want to talk to your doctor. You have the option to just stop that therapy and move to something else. Um, what is maybe a couple of better options is you could consider using injectable methotrexate. And it's actually a subcutaneous injection, so it's not a huge deal. You could do it at home. The other thing you can do is methotrexate is dosed one day a week. So whether you're taking two tabs or five tabs or whatever your dose is, they have you take that one day a week. And which, so the dosing is very convenient. What can help with the side effects is to take those, say you're taking four tablets in one day, you can take two in the morning and then two like 12 hours later. You don't want to take them on different days. That can increase the chance of liver toxicity, but that is an option that you have. So those are, that's kind of a 35,000 foot view of the side effects that you can see with methotrexate. Um, 
go ahead and comment below if you have any other questions or um, anything like that, your experiences. Uh, until we get to the next video, if this was helpful, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe. That, would, that lets me know that um, I'm putting out topics that are helpful for people. So until the next video, uh, again, this is pharmacist Curtis Alexander, and I appreciate you listening.